Mm-hmm. Hi, everybody. It's Jeff and Nikki from Nightshade Nook Decor. So we are seal coating some of the Live Edge coasters that we've made. Um, at least one of these is a custom order. One of them is going to be uh, the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer, another coaster set of those. Um, the other ones, I'm not sure. We're, we've been... We've been debating on what color this is. The other one is actually going to turn out to be. These are the the strides one you're doing right now, right? Yeah, it's Shakura pink. So we are using Wise Bond tabletop epoxy. These are on. That looks like maple. Uh, I believe it is maple. See, I'm looking at the grain. See, you think I don't listen? I listen. So these are on the maple slabs. They're Secura Pink, which is a Wise Bond color. Um, and he's just doing the first seal coat on it. Um, after the seal coat, what he'll do is a flood coat, which will be probably tomorrow or the day after, after the seal coat has kind of set up. And the seal coat is just basically to seal the wood. You have anything you want to add? No, you pretty much covered it. <laughs> See, I hate it when I cover it and then you've got nothing to say because if I don't cover it, you still have nothing to say. Hmm. You very much like having nothing to say. That's true. That's about right. It looks like you're running a little short on a foxy. It really does look that way, doesn't it? Yeah. I think you aren't going to have enough to do those other two coasters. Mm, we'll see. So after he finishes pouring the epoxy on the coasters, what he's going to do is just individually spread the epoxy along um, the top and the edges of the coasters. And again, it's just kind of to seal the wood. Um, also, it helps make the colors on the, on the coasters in the epoxy section kind of pop. And it also darkens the wood, which is what makes them really, really pretty. Yeah, I don't know. It looks... You, you may be right. That does look kind of pink. I thought it was going to be very, very peachy. <laughs> Sharon Elizabeth says she loves watching these videos. Well, thank you, Sharon. <laughs> I am glad that you enjoy these videos. We've been discussing if people actually like watching the process or just listening to us banter back and forth. I think it's the banter. <laughs> I think the creations come in second. Oh, I'm sorry, Clancy. And Clancy is out here in the shop with us tonight. I just stepped on his foot. <laughs> oh, I see. You're stealing epoxy from other coasters. Yeah, do what you gotta do. <laughs> she said, oh my God, it's both. <laughs> <laughs> the, the banter and the products. <laughs> I'm surprised you weren't taking the epoxy from like the table where it's totally uh, useless. It's got dust in it once it hits the bag there. It's... Really? Yeah, there's a little bit of dust. I was gonna it's say not... you just put it... you just oh. put that down. I don't know, but look over here at all the dust. You're right. All right. I don't want to put any contaminated epoxy on there. I understand, because then you have to sand it all off, and then you know I have to listen to you tell me about how you sanded it all off. All right. <laughs> so these are actually going to have the um, making strides against breast cancer decals put on them um, after the seal coat has set up and before the flood coat. So this, again, is a custom order, and like I said, once we, we have a lot of coaster orders actually coming up that we need to get, that we're going to be doing this week. So once we get those orders all done and set aside, then we'll probably start doing more Making Strides Against Breast Cancer so that we can put them on the website. Um, because I like the idea of, you know, once we start selling them, Making Strides Against Breast Cancer, giving them, you know, part of the proceeds for those coasters. Cause I think that's an amazing cause. But this isn't for a breast cancer survivor, right? This is... I really don't know. Okay. I thought she said 
the person she had ordered them for was had survived uh, brain cancer or something. I really don't know who they're for or what their cancer was. Well, I think they're very, very pretty pink. And I'm really surprised. I thought those the other set was going to be extremely peachy. Mm, it's just a different shade of pink. I, I think I'm going to wait and hold my call on that till after you do the, um, the flood coat. Mm. Or rather, until after the, the seal coat sets up. Because that just kind of gives me a better idea of the color. Because the longer the epoxy sets on it. See, already they're looking a little bit peachier. We'll see. I can't believe I have nothing to babble about. I generally have so much to babble about. <laughs> so we have joined all kinds of different social media groups. We're on TikTok now, Tumblr. You know, I'm still not really sure what the deal is with Tumblr. I'm not grasping what's going on there. TikTok I like, but sometimes I get sucked into watching other people's videos, hmm. which isn't helpful at all. And we finished up some more um, custom wreaths, which I'll be posting tomorrow. I did finish up a really cool wreath clock yesterday with some sunflowers on it that I posted to our page, and it is on um, our website and all of our shops. And if you guys are interested in putting in a custom order for, you know, a cutting board, charcuterie board, or a coaster, you guys can go ahead and Facebook message us or fill out a form on our website. Um, we've had a lot of custom orders come in for coasters lately. We've got a couple. We have a few sets of New York Yankee coasters you have to make. You've got some Steelers coasters. Um, another set of... Oh my gosh, I forgot who they are. Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like there's... Chiefs. Chiefs oh, the coasters. Chiefs. The Kansas City Chiefs. And Buffalo Bills. Yeah, we don't have an order for those yet, but no. we're going to make them. You're going to make them, I know, because you're the Bills fan. And then probably, what, in another day or two, we're going to do that seal coat on those ocean wave coasters that... Yeah, we tried? Probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. So those are sitting right here. They're already sanded and routered. So we're just waiting to uh, get these out of the way so we can do the seal coat on those and see how they turned out. And those were, were test coasters. So I think we're going to pour another test set on those because, you know, we learned a lot from that set <clears throat> using the heat gun and everything to make those waves. So I think that'll be a very interesting process. I'm excited to start those. Yeah, I don't know. I think it depends on the light. See, in the camera, they they look the same color. But in person, this set looks more peachy. I would say it's more of a rose, rose gold than a peach. Is that what you're going? Yeah. Maybe. I see you with that. This looks more watermelon than the other Secura Pink ones we did. I think the other Secura Pink you had stuck, um, you put some of that glow pink in to make oh. it pinkier. Hmm, maybe, yeah, maybe. To make it pinkier, huh? Yeah, sometimes my English is just what it is. <laughs> Pink ear is the word I chose. I'm also excited for you to do some pours, too, so I can create some more videos with <laughs> with the pours. I became a little junky with those TikTok pour videos. And we do have the um, peacock green table that's out of the form. Uh, Jeff has spent today and yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. Sanding it. Uh, routering it now it's kind of clamped down i'm not sure when you're planning on doing the flood coat on that probably in a couple of days a couple I'm days keep it clamped to the uh to the board to the saw for a day or so just to make sure it stays flat 
That's okay. The legs haven't shown up for that yet. Right. Anyway. Well. And I just checked that they're coming Thursday, not yeah, it not doesn't tomorrow. Matter, cause it'll be a couple of weeks before we're ready to put the legs on it anyway. Right. And then that table. Have you talked to Christy? Are you putting that up at the shops? Yeah, I was going to put it up at the shop unless somebody buys it before then. That's going to be a very, very pretty yeah, table. That's going to be a pretty table. Okay, so that's the last coaster for your seal coat. So then he's just going to go around and do the tap on them to get the... What is it? You're breaking the surface tension? Yep, so the epoxy will lay nice and flat, no dimples. I see you already have your torch over there. So after he's done... I already forgot what this is that you're doing. <laughs> After he's done breaking the surface tension, then he'll just go over them um, with the torch quickly and pop out any of the air bubbles. And that's where we'll get to see more of what color these are actually going to stay with. Um, because when he adds the heat to it, it just kind of kind of clears up the epoxy. Gets all the cloudiness out from when he was stirring it up and mixing it. Clancy is passed out on this floor. There's the official rag <laughs> that Jeff uses, which happens to be anything he's wearing. So he did a lot of sanding out here today. He actually, actually spent the day out here sanding. So everything is extremely dusty. So you can see when he goes over with the torch, the little air bubbles that are popping. You probably can't see it as well on the actual coasters, but you can see it on the, the mat that he has down for the excess epoxy. It's getting that clear and getting rid of all that white foaminess. Ah, I think these turned out pretty good. Yeah. I'm happy with them. I'm a little bummed that you don't have the peach blossom coasters. Sir, I know you wanted peach. I, I did. I know you were rooting for peach. I was. I really, really was. All right, so I guess that is all we have for tonight, unless there's anything else you want to add. Well, I think I'm pretty good here. Yeah, I kind of figured. It's been a long day, and I am done. I see you already have a, a glass of whiskey sitting there for at the end of this video. Sure. <laughs> he is totally done. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and share our video. That's what's been helping us grow, and we totally appreciate that. You guys have a great night, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow.